right. This is amazing. You will sit. This is truly amazing. So, thank you everybody for coming out. Thanks for coming out to check out this awesome documentary. I haven't even seen, Scott wouldn't let me watch any of it, so I have to be surprised. So, we're gonna start off, we're gonna start, show a little uh, little promo piece we have with Bill Cole. It's really cool, and then uh, do some announcements that get a little darker, and then we're gonna get started. So, check out the promo piece. What did y'all think of that? Great job. I'd like to mention, Bill actually recently blew out his knee pretty badly. Had some major knee surgery, and uh, he actually rode in the ride today. So, pretty epic moment for him. Oh, all about, that's what BMX is about. Getting back up, getting back on the horse, facing those adversities. No coach yelling at you to have to do it. It's up to you to pick yourself up and keep going. All right. So. We're going to move on. Now, what an epic day. This has been amazing. The contest was insane. How many people love the contest today? That's what BMX is right there. That's what BMX is all about. That moment right there. The camaraderie, the brotherhood that we have. Everybody supporting each other, cheering each other on. Doesn't matter what tricks you do, what your bike looks like. Doesn't matter. It's the fact that we're all together doing the same thing, that same common bond that's brought us together all these years. And here we are all still hanging out with each other. Just truly amazing. You know, it's capturing that moment. I always say, you know, that moment, nothing beats that moment. That moment, that first time you land a new trick that you've invented or you, that you're trying. That second that you feel yourself riding away. It's that feeling. There's no trophy, there's no award, there's no amount of money that can replace that moment. Nothing. And it can be that moment in anything you do. But it's just truly amazing. Now, Scott has worked very, very hard on this documentary. He's worked timeless hours putting in all kinds of work to make this as perfect as he could possibly make it. And he was under the gun because I put some pressure on him to get it done by tonight. So, big round of applause for Scott. Wait just a minute here. Now, I got a little something special for Scott. I'd like to have Scott come up here. Please give a big round of applause for Scott. Scott Daddy! Scott Daddy! Scott Daddy! Now, for all the hard work today, and over the last year, putting this all together, the in interviews, traveling everywhere, to sit down with everybody, trying to lock guys down and sit down to do the interviews. You deserve a lot. And obviously, I can't even possibly begin to give you what you deserve to pay you back for this. So, here I present you. I'm getting ready to open next year in a new indoor training facility, a new indoor skate park here in Rhode Island. 35,000 square foot indoor facility. Foam pits, the whole nine yards. Here is your lifetime membership <laughs> to, uh, to Impact 2. Now, we're all about doing the first here at the K-Rob Foundation. You know, we gave away the, the first annual Junior Award last year and we love doing the first. So, it is my pleasure and honor to give away the first annual BMX of New England Lifetime Achievement Award. <laughs> Presented to Scott Maroney. Well, well deserved. a sash <laughs> and it said Mr. Wonderful on it and they messed up delivering it to us. Aww. So but we were thinking of it. <laughs> but please give a huge round of applause for Scott Rowe.
Mm -hmm. <laughs> wow, that's pretty awesome. Thank you, Kevin, Robin. I don't even know what to say. Um, I, basically, what Kevin said earlier, I don't think any one of us, any of us, have experienced a day like that across the street, like we did today. A lot of us have been to competition after competition, whether it was local, wherever, all over the world. And that was just pure fun. And all the hard work that went in through Kevin, Robin, Maggie, Mandy, I mean, all these people that just, God, you can't even imagine the hard work that goes into that. And it was just, it was my honor to work with such a great group of people. It was, it was hard, but it was easy. And that's a credit to each of you. Because you have such a great organization that does some great things and it's beyond words. I posted that earlier. The, the one Facebook message that I posted today was just, it, there's no words for, for that day. It was awesome. Um, but I want to thank a couple of people for the movie itself. Um, first of all, um, there's a couple people that sat behind the scenes. You'll, you'll see them quickly, but the people that really, I think, gave up more than anybody, probably are my two daughters, Taylor and Paige. You know, it's, as Kevin said, it's a lot of hours, and it was a lot of driving. God knows, I mean, I think on my tax return, I deducted 8,000 miles last year for all this. And I, God, I forget the amount of money, but it was ridiculous. They but, didn't cheat on those miles. No, no, I kept, I kept track. But what I just want to say to, to these two is I appreciate all the hours where they were sitting in the living room hearing all your voices over and over and over. <laughs> I swear to God, they could probably recite most of this movie to you. And they have a couple of favorite lines, and um, you, you'll, you'll know what they are. They're very obvious. Um, but I just want to thank the two of you. You guys gave up a lot, and I appreciate it, and it made a lot of this possible. Um, as much as I want to thank everybody that put all this time in, all the interviews, as much as you felt like I was being a pain in the ass, hounding you guys, come come sit down with me. I need this photo. I need this. And then when you'd send it to me, and it was the wrong resolution, and I'd send it back to you, and I felt like I was being a pain in your ass too many times. But it it comes back to the same like soul of BMX. We didn't. We weren't satisfied with just doing a trick okay and there's a there's lots of people here that took it so much further and, and you'll see that in here you'll see it in the story and you'll see it in the end when we highlight um, some certain people um, but I actually have one person that um, when we all moved into different things in our lives there's one person that's stuck with it and he's inspired all of us for all these years and ironically enough, what Kevin gave me, I don't have a plaque, but I have something different. Um, but I want to give something to you, Kevin. So. <laughs> so I don't have an official award, but in my mind, this is the, uh, what we'll call like the, the most wicked ride of all time. And this is for you, Kevin. If you, if you guys don't know, Kevin is infatuated with Rocky. <laughs> so we found, I found a poster all day today. We were sneaking this behind your back. When you were over here um, at your truck, I was standing in my trunk waiting for you to go in the porta potty so we could get it over here. But Kevin, from, from all of us, um, you've given so much to the sport, to all of us, watching you, seeing you on ESPN all over the world. And it, it means a lot to us. And um, it, in, a, in the simplest way possible, I think this quote here, let me read it, is going in one more round when you don't think you can, you can, that's what makes all the difference in your life. And I read that and I said to myself, that's Kevin Robinson right there. Get me a 
long day. Thank you very much. Thank you. Yeah, Kevin.